Eric Peter Carlson, and the film is Transatlantic Coffee. Um, the film, we, I originally wrote it uh, back in 2000, uh, to early 2002, which is when the film takes place, which is where, when it's set. So it's been quite some time. I think the, uh, I don't know if it's been inspiration, but a lot of people asked, you know, where you were inspired um, by the story of Transatlantic. And uh, the only thing I can come up with is, is that there was a documentary I did when I was a kid, really. Um, that it was, you know, it was done on grainy VHS, or actually it was high eight uh, stuff that I did. And it was about a guy who was released, recently released from a mental institution. Um, and I followed him for a day or two. What I was thinking the documentary was going to be about originally was going to be uh, basically just about him and how he lives, what he what he does during the day. And what I found out it was more of a how society uh, looked at uh, this individual, uh, which was very, uh, it was an eye-opening experience. So I think it was like a year later, I started writing uh, like just like a narrative, uh, not about that, but I think somewhere on a subconscious level, I was inspired by a few different things from that experience. So that's the only thing I can really, you know, when people ask me, well, how, you know, where did you come up with this story? That's the only thing I can really think of is, is that in pieces. But, um, but, you know, I don't think you should really, I don't think you should really know where uh, these ideas come from when you're right. Because I think if you do know, then you're probably doing something wrong. That's I'm not what I a bad person. I don't think that way. You promise? I promise. You're not like her? Nothing like her. What? So when I was writing Transatlantic, I really wanted to make it a, a big, you know, deep character study on this one character. Um, and there's some traits in there that got this came out, you know, I mean, um, the character in Transatlantic, Alex Howard, you know, it's a romance picture. I always thought it was a romance picture, but he had the, a loved one who he lost. Uh, so it's really a romance picture where you don't really see the romance because it was a romance, um, you know, from, the, from another time. So I found that was interesting. It was a different approach about it. Rather than seeing a relationship uh, form, this was more of a, a relationship that has already, you know, been, you know, started and then ended uh, by the loss of her.